Once the prime is complete, you'll get the series of eights. You need to press the only button that's lit, which is the yellow one, the mute. Then the machine will tell you one, two, three, four, A to D, E to H, and nine down to one. You can press the mute button again, which is lit, and then you will get the three zeros. The stop will be lit, but do not press the stop. We now need to take the dialyzer out of its holder and put it onto the top holder. We then need to get our 30 mil syringe, take the cap off the end of the dialyzer, put the syringe on, and we need to prime the air out of this part of the line. If you overfill the syringe, don't worry, you can push the fluid back, but leave the air at the top. You need to keep the syringe free, so that if you have any air problems later with the treatment, you can deal with them with this syringe. We're now gonna check the circuit for any air. So we're gonna check the red and the blue lines. If you do see any air down the lines, especially the blue line, then we need to do the snap and tap. We do the snap and tap by get, getting the line about a fist apart and cracking the line. And we crack all the way down the red line. All the way down to the pressure pod. We turn the pressure pod over and we smack it three times. One, two, three. We twist back. One, two, three. Twist back and again. Then we go over to the machine to the side where the dialyzer is. We take the dialyzer out of the holder and we'll turn it down. The blue end at the three o'clock position. And one, two, three, pass. Then up. One, two, three. Then again. And hopefully that will have got rid of the air from the dialyzer. You can also do a syringe check again if you need to. And then we do the blue side, which is the top line of the machine going back. And we do this back to the saline back, cracking the line again. And then we can check our lines. Please note that you only do a snap and tap if you see air in the lines. If you don't see any air, you do not need to do the snap and tap. As you can see, the lines here are nice and clear. So we can now come to the machine and we can press stop. It will now come up with the presets ready. So we're now gonna look down our arterial line, which is our red line, and we're gonna look for our saline T. What we're gonna do with our saline T is we're just gonna prime the air out of the line here. So we literally open the cap, take a little bit of the air out, close it off. Do use a container to contain the water. We then look for the green and white line. We're gonna clamp the green line and we're gonna clamp the white line. We then take the white and the, the white T and the green line and put them together. We take the cap off the saline T. We take the white line that's connected to the green line and disconnect that. And that makes our first white to white connection. We drop that. We still have the green line in our hand. It's important to keep it in your hand because this is a clean, sterile line. We don't want this touching the machine or touching the floor. We then pick on our middle line and we connect. We then open both of our green clamps. So that is our white and our green line connected together. 
we then move on to our final clamp. So we've got our 10 mil syringes and we've got our recirculator ready. So we clamp off the four, the six clamps. So there's two red, one at the bottom, one at the top. The two blue, one at the bottom, one at the top. And the two yellows, one at the bottom, one at the top. We peel our syringes open ready, but we don't take them out. We then take our blood lines, we'll start with our red line and we'll disconnect it. We'll take our syringe and put that onto the saline bag. And then we're going to take our recirculator and connect the blood line to that side. We then repeat with the blue line onto the saline bag onto the recirculator. We'll put this on the chair arm so it's ready for our patient. Finally, we have our yellow line. The yellow line is always your last line, because that's your waistline, this is a dirty line. We disconnect the yellow line from the saline bag, when we connect it down to our pure flow, and we open our yellow clamps. So the only clamps that we have opened are our yellow clamps and our green clamps. Next of all, we're going to program our machine. For this demonstration, we're going to program this machine to lose one kilo. So you can see here we're doing 10 litres per hour, but your treatment will vary on whatever's been preset by your nurse. So we press this volume jug. Press it quite firmly into the centre. In the yellow area of the machine, we're going to program this for one litre. And you can see there, 1.0. We're going to press the same volume jug again to take us back to the main menu. Before we do that, you'll notice that here it does say vol. So we've, complete, we've done our complete volume. So here, for the demonstration, we're doing a 30 litre treatment, taking one litre off. When we go back to the other page by pressing the jug, this is our rates page. You can see this because we've got the blood flow rate at the bottom. And then we're going to have our UF rate, which is the rate we're going to take the fluid off per hour. And then we're going to have our dialysate rate here at the top. So as we saw back there, we're going to take a litre off. You take what you're going to take off and halve it to get your total weight loss. So half of one is going to be five. So we're going to put this at 0 0.5. Do note where the dot is. As we get up towards the 0 0.5, you'll notice that the time begins to come down. And what we're aiming for is somewhere in the region of about three hours, which we've got. Your nurse will discuss about altering this UF rate um, to make it lower but still achieve the same time. Now that we've ready, we, this is the point where we will put our needles in. For this demonstration, we're going to use the uh, bag to represent the patient. We're going to take our blood lines and we're going to connect our red line to our arterial needle, which is our lower needle. And we're gonna connect our blue line to our venous needle, which is our top needle. You will have followed your needling techniques that you've been taught by your nurse. We have this plastic piece of kit on your blue line, your venous line, which just clips over the needle and the line and that's your access detector. So that will stop your needle from coming away from the line. We open our clamps. One, two, three, and four. 
and then we press the green to launch the treatment. The machine will now bleed out. Once it's bled out, you can then give your required drugs, whether they be your Clexane, your Inoxaparin, iron if necessary, or any EPO. We've got an Alarm 11 there. Don't worry about the Alarm 11. We're gonna discuss this in a later module.